today we're giving this small powder room not just a makeover but a complete overhaul everything's coming out let's get into it my friends just closed on their new home and i'm excited to be working with them to design several spaces the first of which is the powder room redoing powder rooms are my favorite makeovers because they're usually really small i think it's a great space to go bold and make a statement this is the initial mood board i created i'm going for a moody vibe in here i plan on adding wallpaper on all the walls and painting the ceiling in a dark color the vanity was previously ordered so i designed everything else around it once we had everything out of the space the first thing we had to do was lightly plaster the walls the previous owners did something that created some texture so we added just enough to take that waviness out of it and get it ready for wallpaper we used this hardwood on the entire ground floor and went ahead and continued it into the powder room as well it is so beautiful in case you're curious it's called amelia island white oak it's a nine and a half inch wide hardwood plank and it's like a medium brown tone absolutely love it and i think i'm not the only one meet sadie and sophie they will be assisting me with this project After weeks of planning and ordering, I'm here today to open up what has arrived and not only make sure nothing is damaged, but I always like to lay my eyes on everything. It's one thing to put it together based on images online, but it can be quite different in person. Most important would be seeing the wallpaper with the vanity and I didn't like it. I think they either sent the wrong one or the images seem way off. There is no evidence of green. In fact, it looks really gray and has a silvery shimmer on it. So we're going to have to delay the start of this project and look for something else. The contractor wrapped up on everything else so i couldn't hold them up any longer we went ahead and installed the toilet and the vanity this space is already looking 10 times better than it was i was hoping to be able to install the wallpaper before that it would have made life a lot easier but having to look for different paper and then wait for it to come in took about a week but the extra effort was so worth it i am so much happier with this one love the colors and the pattern also one of the light fixtures wasn't available so i changed that as well along with the ceiling color anyways i'm ready to install this wallpaper but before getting started i'm going to run over to home depot and pick up some paint for the ceiling To get started, I'm taking off the fixtures and covers and cleaning all the walls with some vinegar and water. You always, always want to make sure to clean the walls before adding wallpaper. Skipping this can possibly make the paper lift and not stay on for very long. Preparation is the key to any successful project, so if you're planning on using wallpaper anytime, don't skip this. Scrape off any old plaster and use some dry compound or spackle to cover up any holes. Whenever using deep colors, it's always quite a bit scary when you open up the can. They do dry darker, so you have to trust the process. This definitely looked a lot pinker than the sample, but you have to give it a couple of coats and let it dry completely.
and here it is with two coats it looks amazing sorry about this ratchet hanging light here but it was the only light in the space so I had to leave it there for now but you guys the color I love how rich and moody it looks and I can't wait to see this all come together so much so by the time I got to this point it was seven o'clock at night but I was already in the zone and decided to just keep going this is a peel and stick wallpaper and it's always a good idea to get started behind the door or a less visible area and if you're putting up wallpaper for the first time I'll be putting some tips here on the screen that I think are helpful for a successful installation Hours later, I had most of the room done. Getting behind fixtures do add to the time this takes, but I actually really enjoy putting up wallpaper. I took it over the little detail on top of the baseboards. I thought that gave it such a special touch, but I'm going to wrap it up here for the night and be back tomorrow. It's the next day and I decided to stop at Target and do some shopping for the space. When I'm decorating, I like using different elements and materials to balance things out. Apart from the bold pattern on the walls, the hardware and fixtures are a combination of black and brass. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's quite a gap between the wall and the toilet tank. So I'd like to find a tray or something I could put there to cover it up. And I figured since I'm here, I may as well get all the other necessities. Something more I think I am ready for doing some changing. Oh, God, there is something more than this. You can have all the world. I want to be a shining light, live a life that shows through the darkness. The fire I also needed to get some material because I plan on making a simple cafe curtain but couldn't quite find something I liked at the fabric store. So I'm checking out the curtains here and I really like this. I envisioned a subtle stripe and something that wouldn't weigh down the space and I think this is giving me that but it's light and sheer and adding that soft touch I'm going for. I think I'm going to grab this and make those curtains from this material. Some towels. I'm not sure if I want to use this or this just yet. Still trying to decide between these two. I kind of like the color of the glass here. It kind of picks up on there. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all these, but I like these. I like when the tissues can be covered like that. I think that's nice for little things that you need in a bathroom. Of course, the trash bin there. But I like this. I mean, it's, a, it's an entire curtain, but I'm going to cut it. So I'm back on the project. I finished up the small areas of wallpaper. So I'm going to install the mirror and the toilet paper and towel holders. i
There's a plug that's right at the side of the sink so I'm going to use this paintable plug cover and put that wallpaper on it just so it blends in a bit and not pop out against the pattern. I'm doing the same with painting the fan and air vent covers on the ceiling. The vanity didn't come with a backsplash so I'm drawing out a template for the fabricator. I was planning to freehand a design but I noticed the packaging from the mirror had the shape I was going for so I just used that and cut out a template using an old box. We're going to drop this off at the fabricator tomorrow and hopefully have it the next day. It's the final day. I am ready to finish up this room. I just finished putting up the light fixtures and they look amazing. The only thing left to do besides decorating is to put up the curtain here. I got this cafe rod at... Lowe's. I really wanted a brass one but the one I ordered on Amazon is not going to come for a couple of days. I'm just going to use this one for now. When the brass one comes, if I put it up and it looks better then I'll switch it. So this size rod is 7 16th of an inch and these are the little rings for it. So I'm just going to install this. Just so you guys know, I didn't put much effort into the window itself because it's getting changed in the next week. It's going to get damaged because they have to take the window out and put a new one in. For now, I just use little ends of paper that I had after I was done installing the paper and I just like put it there for now just so it looks good to you guys. But in another week, this is going to get changed and then I'm going to put one strip of wallpaper around the inside there. Y'all ready to see how this pot room turned out? Yeah, you guys look so excited. 